All right, just a quick update to my previous video about this WFUC app, which turns on Windows 7 updating after Microsoft turns it off. And you guys with Windows 7 and KB Lake know what I'm talking about. And oh, by the way, this is October 6th. And Coffee Lake is also affected by Microsoft's decision. So you're going to need this too if you want to run 107. Anyway, the author has updated it and, and has packaged his content into a convenient little MSI file. Here it is underneath my mouse. Just download that and install it, which I uh, have provided after this preface video I recorded that yesterday and uh, it'll show without a shadow of a doubt that it'll undo what Microsoft did and a special shout out to Kerry Holtzman because he finally told us officially what he was talking about when he said there's an app out there that will turn off uh, it'll, it will turn off what Microsoft did. So, shout out, shout out to you, Kerry. And, uh, that should be it for this preface. Have a nice day. Okay, this is what you get when you first install Windows 7 on a KB Lake or Coffee Lake processor, you will get this message on supported hardware. This, the app that I talked about in the preface, I'm about to install that right here. First, I'm gonna unblock it so it doesn't give that message that we just saw, unblock. And then we'll install it. And as I mentioned in previous videos and in this video, this will turn off that unsupported hardware message from Microsoft. And you can proceed with updating Windows to your heart's content. And I'm going to stop narration now because uh, everything else here is self-explanatory. DDT out. Oh, I'm still installing it. Anyway, you get you get my drift. DDT out. Don't worry about that error. The Windows evidently didn't need one of the updates, so that's not that big of a deal. We'll see you later. Ciao.